Hello my friends, I am LazyJet and today we are doing another Hornby model review. Ooh, this is going to be a good review because this is a model that I've been trying to find for a while. And I've been trying to find it for a good price as well. Some time ago, I don't know if you guys remember, but I did a review on the one-to-one -one collection of Hornby's Black 5. And Hornby's one-to-one -one collection of Bitten with the two tenders. I can't fit my face in, in shot because the, the box is actually quite big, so I'm glad that have my face here. Yes, so I did a review of the Black 5 and Bitten one-to-one -one collection uh, in my previous videos, if you guys uh, don't remember. I'll leave links to uh, these videos, uh, well, these re review videos in the description below so you guys can actually re-watch these if you guys haven't seen them yet. But I do love the one-to-one -one collection. I like the style in the box and I just like the way they look. Um, but actually, I'm actually missing a loco. Have a little guess, what do you guys think? What, what am I missing from this one-to-one -one collection? Have a little guess. That's right, what I've been missing is, just gotta put these boxes down, I have been missing this. Hornby's one-to-one -one collection of the 9F number 9 double two twelve. This model is amazing. I have been waiting for some time to try and find myself one of these for a good price. But I went down to the model shop in Eastleigh and there it was on the shelf, brand new, and it was only for £108. For £108 for a brand new 9F, one-to-one -one collection, number 9212, I think I've struck a little pile of gold there, haven't I, Mr Oliver? I think you have. Um, I have actually, have to be honest, I've actually had this model for about a month now because... I have been trying to find a 9F sound chip to fit in this model because I'm going digital on my layout. But I finally have a 9F sound decoder to fit into this model. So, uh, got the sound decoder, I fitted it into this model, and now we're going to do a... F we're finally, finally, we're going to do a review on this. I've been waiting to do a review on this for a while because, you know, as I said, I've been waiting for the sound chip. But now it's all fitted, I'm ready to review this. This is going to be so exciting. I'm so happy I finally got... Um, this particular model because if those of you who don't know I actually went down to the Midhans Railway and I actually had the chance of driving this very locomotive but I, 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 you guys probably already know that anyway don't you I do see it quite often don't I that I've driven a steam engine but you know enough of that let's get into the review Ooh, I cannot wait this is this is so cool I'm sorry I'm, I'm, I'm sort of all over the place right now I'm kind of I'm, I'm just mm, really excited. You know, like you know, when you're a kid at Christmas, you know, you're waiting for your presents under the Christmas tree. This is this is this is this is the exact same feeling. Every time I get a new model as good as this, I get that little, like little exciting feeling moment. So let's uh, head over to my uh, model layout. I nearly said something else that I shouldn't really say. My model railway layout. Yes, that's what I should say. Uh, let's open it to there. Get this out of this box and let's see what it looks like, shall we? Uh... I'm going to go this way. So first of all, let's start off with the box itself. Uh, limited edition, only 500 of these have been made. So, you know, these are quite hard to find now. Um, but yeah, the, 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 I'll show you guys what it looks like in close up. It does, the box looks absolutely beautiful, doesn't it? I love the pattern in the box, I don't know if you guys can actually see that well on camera, but the pattern and the detail in the box is fantastic. I really do like it. Got the British Railway um, logo on the front. Look on the top, one to one co uh, collection, uh, number 92212 or 92212. Um, I like to pronounce it as 92212 because, you know, I'm weird. Uh, let's have a quick look on the back. Uh, I've got some information about the 9F and it also got some pictures um, of the actual locomotive itself, which is really, really nice. The only thing, well, the only problem I have have with this um, particular model is actually the tender is it's actually wrong because um, well for me it's wrong I mean for those of you who actually think actually that's that is actually the correct tender of what it used to have but I remember seeing the 9F in person and it had a totally different tender I don't know if that if that's its original tender or what have you but in my opinion this is the wrong tender but the you know i could be wrong this could be the right tender i'm not sure but when i went to the mid-hands railway it just had a totally different tender and it's not and it's not what i remember but apart from that uh it does look nice it, it really really does um it's dcc ready well, well, well actually it's now dcc fitted because it's, um i have actually had the chance to take it out of its box and fit a sound chip uh, decoder in it which 
have been, as I said, I, I've been trying to find the right decoder for it because, you know, a Hornby, then I looked at the Hornby website and they did not sell uh, the, the 9F sound chip. So I, I had to look quite a bit to find it, but I, I eventually did find one. It's in this model now. So it, we're, we're all good. We're all good. So um, what I'm going to do now, let's slide this out of its box. So, um... So you guys can get a good look at it. Oh, I really do love Hornby's boxes. I'm so, I'm so sorry, but I really do. It's like a Harry Potter wand box, isn't it? You, I, don't, I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about. If, if those of you who haven't seen Harry Potter, but there you go. Um, although, who hasn't seen Harry Potter? But let's have a look. There you go. There's the model itself. Uh, it looks nice in its little case. And you can still you can see the model quite well. But obviously, you can't really see it. And it's all form and glory. So I'm just going to gently... Slide it out, like so. Um, so let's just put the model down to it one side for a second, so I can show you what's inside the box. There's the uh, the manual for the 9F digital sound decoder. So 9F, which is good. Put that on one side because I'll need that later. Uh, I've got the manual of how to, you know, take the engine apart. You know, show you guys in close up of what we're looking at. Let's have a look. At, let's get out properly so you guys can actually see. For those of you who want to turn your model into a digital model, so there's the manual, which is all good. I'll leave that to one side because you know I'll keep that for future references. And here we've got the one-to-one -one certificate. Look at this. Now, um, as I said, there's only 500 of these models have been made, and I've got number 155. I'll show you guys in close-up. So there you go. Still quite a low number. So the fact that it's 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 in the hundred zone, that's that's really good. I I I think that's um that, that, that is actually a very good uh, good number in my opinion I mean it's quite a low number but you know it's good and yes I have actually cut my finger uh, I'll show you guys <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that I cut my finger the other day because um, well, I'm not gonna explain how I cut my finger but you know don't worry about it, it happens all the time so uh, let's move the other box out of the way let's get the 9f itself out of its ice block it's quite stiff but I've got to be very careful so that just slides out like that I'm gonna pop it on the floor because you know I have this really bad fear of actually one of these days actually dropping a model. <laughs> so let's um, get it out. I'm just gonna grab it by the tender and the cab. And I'm just gonna pop that down there. Close that up. Move that out of the way. Okay, and very carefully. Ooh, we don't want to touch it. Very carefully. Uh, I'm gonna pick the model up by the tender and loco. And there she is. And oh. My God, doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? And the 9Fs are one special type of locomotives, aren't they? Uh, I'll probably zoom in so you guys get a good shot of the front because you know it kind of keep it keeps going out of focus, and I, you know I'm, I, I can't help that. I'm sorry. It's this this camera is very silly. Come on, camera, focus in there. You go, know, lovely. So that's the front. You've got lovely smoke deflectors there, and you've got lovely ten driving wheels. I love the driving wheels. They look so cool, don't they? Um, it keeps going out of focus. It's not focusing properly. The focus on the locomotive, you silly camera. I might, you know what, I might just say if I'm just buy a new camera because this one has been a right pain for years. I think it's just old. But yeah, that's the side. Give you a good close shot of the cab. There's the number nine F number nine double two twelve. And they'll just give you a good shot of the tender and the lovely BR logo. And I have to say, I do love the painting of the axles on the tender. I love the nice bright yellow with a red line on the side. I really do like that. I'll give you guys a close up on the cab. The cab doesn't actually have any detail inside, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, this is just a, a really good model. I'll show you guys at the back of the tender what that looks like. If it would stay in focus, of course. There you go, that's a good shot. Um, but yeah, th this is a spectacular looking loco. And I, I cannot wait to try out what the sounds sound like because, um, yes, I have fitted this with sound, but I don't actually know what it sounds like yet because I haven't actually tested it. So I don't even know if the sound's going to work, to be honest. But yeah, this is a, a, an amazing looking locomotive. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring the camera out a bit. Like, I'm going to zoom out again so you guys can actually see the whole loco itself. But that just looks absolutely beautiful. It's just how I remember it. Apart from the tender, of course, it's definitely not how I remember the tender. But I, I really do love this model. I just, I mean, loads, loads of people don't like engines in black, but the 9F does look really nice in black. Even, you know, a black 5 looks good in black. But there we go. That is, um, I mean, I, I guess there are some steam engines that don't look good in black, like uh, like Mallard in black, like Wartime Black or something. I know that Sinatra Gresley is, um, is in Wartime Black at the moment. 
but I think that's like crew at the moment to be repainted into BR Blue. I'm not entirely sure. But I just love this model so much. I just love everything about this. The detail is there. Oh my god, I'm just, <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of weight to it as well. So it is quite heavy. So basically what you guys are waiting for is, is how well does this model run. So I'm going to put it on the tracks, get a good close up. And let's see how well it runs, shall we? Let's do that. Right, my friends, there she is on the tracks. And oh my god. Doesn't she look beautiful? So I've um, plugged in my uh, digital controller and I think she's ready to go. So let's just see if she moves. So I'm going to pop her in reverse and let's just see if it goes backwards. Go ever so slowly. <gasps> oh yes, she is moving. Let's see what she looks like in forward. Oh yes, and that is some brilliant slow crawling, isn't that? Bring it back again. Let's see how slow her crawl really is. Let's put it in like the tiniest percent power. Is it even going to move or is it stuck on the points? I think it's stuck on the points. Oh no, 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 it's not. No, 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 it's, it's fine. Let's try and zoom. I'm going to zoom in to you, for you guys so you can actually see how slow that crawl really is. Wow, look at that. It's so smooth as well. Look how brilliant. And that's over the points as well. Although, all those driving wheels, I mean, I don't think there's going to be any cutouts, but look how smooth that is. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow, look how smooth that is, and that is some serious cruel. Wow. Now, I could watch that all day. And the fact that, like, you know, this is a model, and it's moving that slow at that smooth pace absolutely beautiful right let's zoom out again well actually i think we'll just leave it like that actually because that that is um the light but the more i zoom in the more better the lighting actually is so i think i might just leave the camera about there shall i right, let's, let's put it in reverse so you guys so you guys can actually see what it looks like from the uh, of the the clockwork face as people like to call it the clock face so let's bring it backwards just a little bit do some like really cool thing with the camera here oh that looks nice doesn't it <laughs> this looks so cool. I mean, I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing, but it just looks absolutely beautiful. And I have actually unboxed Bitten and the Black Five, and I've got them in the sidings in the background because you know I've got the whole. Well, I think I've got like like the whole one-to-one -one collection now. So let's zoom in a bit more. There we go, and we'll stop right there. Beautiful. Oh, that just looks so good. The camera keeps falling though, because you know this tripod. It isn't actually the best, I have to admit. It's not the best tripod, but let's see a good look, good look, good look from the front. Beautiful. And I've just realised that the Black 5 is actually facing the wrong way. Let me just program Black 5. Is she uh, going to go forward or backwards, or is it not going to move at all? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, she's moving. She's going forwards, though. We don't want that. We want to go backwards. Can you come backwards there, Black 5? There she goes. I don't think it is. It's. I mean, the Black Five is a very smooth crawler, but I don't think it is, it is as as good as the Nine. Actually, no. Actually, no. Actually, I'll take that back. I think this has just got a good crawl as well. Actually, there we go. Beautiful. So we've got the Black Five. We've got uh, Bitten, and we've got the Nine F. The whole three one to one collection. Looking good. Looking absolutely good. I like that. I like that a lot. Now, just before we set off, I actually want to give the 9F uh, a quick sound test to see how well it sounds. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to move the microphone, so bear with me for a second. Okay, I'm actually holding uh, the microphone because I can't actually find anywhere to put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the sound on first. I'm going to move the microphone so you guys can actually get a good sound of the sound. <laughs> Forgive me. And what we're going to do next is we're going to give a quick whistle test. Uh, this engine uh, only has um, four different sound whistles, um, but you know they're still pretty good. So uh, what I'll do is I'll move the microphone to the loco, so you guys can get a good sound of the whistles. There you go, sound test completed, and the whistles sound absolutely adorable, especially if on a loco this big. So what we're going to do now 
is we're gonna let the nine F run in for a bit with her with the amazing chuffing sound. Uh, is she gonna go forward? I think she's gonna go backwards, but we'll put it in forwards just in case, because um, that's what we want. Uh, so take away, take it away, nine F. Sorry, and let's see how well she looks when she's moving with her sound. Here we go.
Well, my friends, I have ran the 9F for about half an hour-ish, and it just runs beautifully. And the Black 5 looks absolutely stunning as well, as long as Bitten. Um, I have actually seen this Black 5 in real life before, number uh, 45379. I actually have a video of me seeing the Black 5 in person. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to check that video out. But I don't think I've ever seen Bitten with the two tenders before. I think I might have to go up to Margate in like in the future and maybe have a little look and see if I can have a chance to see it. But apart from that, the, all of the one-to-one -one collection locos look amazing. Um, and I, I'm just so happy I, I own all three of them. But which one do I like the best out of all of them? I really couldn't say because each model is, is in a class of her own because you know Bitten is probably one of the greatest A4s I've ever seen uh, well it, not in real life but in, 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 in my model collection the Black 5 looks absolutely incredible and the 9F is just an absolute beauty so I, cu I couldn't choose which one is the best I'm sorry I just can't but you guys can uh, if you guys want to say which model do you prefer do you prefer, prefer, prefer I can't speak properly can I would you guys prefer Bitten, or the Black 5, or the 9F? Which one would you guys prefer? Leave your answer in the comment section down below, I'll be sure to read it. Because I do like to hear what you guys have to say, like, you know, which, which one do you prefer out of all three of these engines? But, you know, I, I, I can't say, I, I, I really couldn't. But uh, that concludes our video for today, my friends. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button. Uh, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Twitch. Uh, all the links are in the description, and so are the videos. Um, but my friends, thank you so much for all your support on the channel. It really means a lot to me. Uh, I will do another model review very soon, so stand by for that, because, you know, it's going to be a good one, the next one, I guarantee it. But take care, have a good day, and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>